Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Joni Young here if you're new. Thanks so much for joining me today for this winter lantern with snowflakes painting tutorial. Okay, so let's just jump right in. I'm working on a 16 by 20 double primed and stretched canvas. I've got a number 50 filbert brush and titanium white, Mars black, light blue violet, neon orange, and cool yellow. I'll have a full list of the colors below the video in the description box. The first thing I'm gonna do is just get my brush wet and I'm just gonna wet down the canvas a little bit going up and down. This is the same brush stroke we're gonna be using to apply our paint with. This is gonna help prep the canvas to take the paint and help us blend a lot easier. I'm going to take a little bit of blue, a little bit of white and black. I'm just going to take all three colors and just start brushing up and down all across the canvas. The idea is to make it look streaky, but in a blurry, soft sort of way. So that's why it really, really helps to have a little bit of water on the canvas prior to applying the paint. Okay, so the reason why I'm applying the paint up and down like this for this background is to make it look like a blurry forest or a blurry cityscape. And the focus is gonna be uh, the lantern, the glowing warm lantern in the foreground. The next brush stroke I'm gonna be doing is going across. This is gonna be the road where the lantern is on and it, we're gonna make it look kind of reflective like snowflakes have melted or rain. And so taking the same colors, not mixing them to make one on the palette, I'm just taking a little bit of each. I'm gonna go across. Again, letting it be streaky looking. Then I'll take a little bit more. And as my brush starts to separate like this, that's gonna help me make it look like reflections down here. And then I'll just cut across like this where the road meets the base of the trees. And then just soften. I'm going to wash my brush off and I'm going to start making it look like there's some soft fuzzy snowflakes or lights in the distance. So I'm going to be using a short round stippler, no water, just a little bit of white. I'm going to twist and turn my brush, sometimes applying more pressure where I want them to be a little bigger and then letting off for some smaller ones. So you want different sizes. And this is just for that kind of blurry bokeh effect in the background while adding a little bit of light. And we're not out to paint perfect circles. Picture snowflakes falling, just lots of little blobs, but these are gonna be sort of blurry, soft blobs. And same with lights. If you want yours to be perfectly round, you can definitely achieve that. Just be a little bit more steady with your hand when you twist. You can you can apply this brush stroke with, um, or this technique with a filbert brush as well. I just really like this brush and I don't um, utilize it enough. I kind of forget that I have this brush. 
this is a really fun type of background and I have a few tutorials where I demonstrate how you can incorporate this into different types of paintings. For the next step, I'm going to be using a toothbrush, some water and some white. So I'm going to apply some smaller sparkles or snowflakes using this toothbrush. I just dunked it in the water and I'm just going to gently scrub it around to load it with some white. Okay, I'm going to line it up where I want to spray, turn it over, place my thumb here and spray. So I just want to create all different sizes of snow. I'll come in later on, of course, with some more detailed snowflakes. And I'm going to be using a number four filbert brush for this. So I'm going to start with a little bit of black here, a little bit of orange. You can paint your lantern any color that you like. Okay, I'm going to start with a base and I'll add the base right about here. So I'm going to do a line about two, two and a half inches. Then I'm going to slope it down on either side, a little diagonal line maybe. You can make yours rounded or a little bit edgier looking. And then I'm going to bring it across. And then I'm going to add a little bit of streaks below to keep it that reflective look. And then pull this way. So a few across and a few down. A little pull and flick. A little bit of water helps too. So I'm just going to release some of this paint out of my brush with some water. our way up. It's going to get narrower now. Sort of a skinny rectangle. All right, then we're going to do rounded rectangle. So straight on the top and then just round it on the sides. Paint that in. Okay, for the next step. Just gonna go over this a little bit, warm it up with that orange. We're gonna go on an angle, on an angle, and across. Okay, then we're going to go up round and widest points from here to here. I'm going to just scumble this top area in where it's going to be darker. Okay, so again, round it here and then it comes up. Mix up a little bit more paint here. Okay. 
little rounded and down, then across. So this is the glass, and then this is the rest of the metal part of the lantern, working on the top now. And then narrower right here. Bring that out a little bit wider. So we take a little bit more water on my brush. Just add a little line underneath it makes it look it'll look a little pointier okay for the next one i'm going to add another line on the top and then a half circle And we're just going to let that half circle be a little bit wider than what's below here. Okay, how are you guys doing so far? Don't worry, if you're having a little trouble keeping up, you can stop and pause the video in between each and every step. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add the handles here on the side or whatever they are so we're going to go from here curve down and in cross curve down and in make them a little thicker by using a little bit more pressure Add water whenever you need to. So this part right here to make it appear like this is a round uh, glass piece, and this um, metal part of the lantern goes around. We're going to bring it up in a bit of a curve, so like a little slightly arched like that. I'm going to take a little bit of blue and white and I'm going to add some highlights on the top. So I'm just going to go over the top and then come around and add a few These are just little highlights. We'll go inside these handles here and then a few on the bottom as well. Add a little bit in here, a slight little scoop. And then 
keep it round, arched brush stroke right there. And one there. I'm going to outline in black. So just black. I'm going to brush a little wiggle here just to make sure it's nice and flat. I'm going to start shading. And I'm letting my pinky here help guide and steady my hand. You can thin your, if you have really heavy body paints like me, I just thin it out a little bit wherever I need to. Cut across. And then down the other side. and drop a few more shadows and then I'm going to come along the edge here and add a little bit more short little brush strokes maybe some beginning stages of some snow covered leaves or little piles of snow we need to have a little bit more uh, contrast I'm going to take a bit of black and a little bit of blue. And just apply these little messy looking little lines here and there. We're not painting anything neat and tidy on the sides of this lantern. So you want to make it look natural by having a loose hand and brush stroke. Apply a little bit more blue. You can paint your lantern any color. Red would be nice. Come inside with a little bit more of the blue here. I like this blue with that sort of burnt sienna rust color that we made with the black and the neon orange. Uh, just a little bit here on the tip of my brush where the glass starts right here. Give it a little bit of a shine. It'll take a little bit of blue. Cover, incorporate that down here as well. So we have all the colors. I've rinsed my brush out and it's time to start making uh, the inside of our lantern the light so I'm going to start with some white and I'm going to apply the white right here and then lightly go up and then scumble around
I'm gonna add a little bit right here. that reflection on the glass and then just graze the side. I'm going to pick up some yellow and some orange and we'll just start mixing that around. Okay, I'm going to start on the edge here. Work my way over. A little bit more of that color. Add some below and a little off to the side. Now it's going to be brighter there, so more white. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and I'm going to start coming in where that white meets the peach. So just a little bit of a dry brush. Take a little bit of yellow with white and then I'll come inside of that. I'm going to add a little bit of that down here as well. And then I'm going to take more of the orange So I don't have a lot of paint on my brush. I mix it up and then there's not a lot. I'm going to start up here. Scumble, scumble. Work my way down. And over part of the black. Take a little bit more and get it slightly more saturated. Okay, a little bit more orange with just a touch of black in there. So now we're making it look more like a rust color. Don't forget about the bottom. To add those reflections. Make that rust color again. And then right here, the base in this bottom area here on the left, add a bit there. a little bit more black. And add a little bit in here. And I'm going to go across here again just to clean that up with black.
Okay, I'm going to take more orange. Apply another layer. And a little bit more of the yellow in with that peach. I sort of create a little dome shape or arch shape here. Pick up a little bit of white, mix that in. And add a little bit right there. And back over to black. line here and here just gentle pulls and drops with the littlest amount of watered down black in my brush washing my brush out going back over for a little bit of white again adding a little hint of white little line there a little bit more on the glass this time we're going to round when we pull and flick i'm going to add a little bit of white here to make the details of the lantern stand out a little bit more. This corner, this corner. Tap, tap, tap with a bit of white. Add a little bit more white in the center here. And a few more little taps. You can do this around as much as you want, creating a little bit of a frosty look or reflections on your glass. And I'll just go back over to a little bit of that black and orange. work most of the paint off so I've just got a dry brush again flat little circles 
moving around, traveling around with a brush. More orange, same thing. And then with a clean brush, I'll just gently blend that in. Okay, so now we're going to come over top with some wire. And I'm going to be using my number two liner brush. A liner brush or a brown brush will work. You don't need a lot of black for this because a little bit of um, the lines, the little wires, really skinny, and a little bit of black goes a long way. Just want to make sure that you have some water in your brush. So I'm going to be adding a little line here, but I'm going to start it and then go around to make it look like it's wrapping around the glass. I'll just add a little bit more definition on the side here. And I'm using my pinky as a guide. I'm placing it on the canvas where I know it's safe, it's dry. And I'm going to come around here, loop around, and right here, I'm going to change direction. I'm going to pull it back. And take it right down here. Get a little bit of water on my brush again. And we'll come in from the other side for the next one. Start this one right about here, come out from the side, over, cross over. And over there and then down. I painted a lot of lanterns, but this one is different from any one that I painted. I love this, this wire wrapped around. And then there's a few more little details with the black. Have a line coming out here, up. Is going to come from under here and add more of a shadow. Just defining with a little bit more black. And then a little bit underneath. I'm going to hop back over to my number four filbert brush. Get a little bit black in there. I've got a little bit of water left over from when I washed it out. 
And we'll just start adding some lines across and a few more going straight down. You can kind of make them a little ripply looking, zigzagging. And take some more blue. See how pretty the blue looks with that peach color. Add a bit more because it's just so complimentary. I guess I'm going to start coming in now. And adding a little bit more. Those messy little loopy squiggles and brush strokes. Remember, be very loose with your brush. This is all just extra what's going on around what we want the focal point to be, and that's the lantern. So I think we could start coming in and adding some um, snowflakes. We'll just start just adding a little bit more blue in here in little patches. A little blob and a scumble. So it's the beginning stages of those snowflakes. You picture where those snowflakes are landing, where you want them to be, and just add a little blob. We're doing it in blue first, that way we have some pretty blue shadows when we come in with our white for the design of our snowflake. Now the brush I'm going to be using for my snowflakes is a flat brush. This is a, it says number six. It's pretty small, so don't go by the numbers. Just choose something that you feel comfortable with. I'm using a flat brush, getting it a little bit wet. And I'm actually going to just dry this off quickly and then come in with a white. Okay, so I've got some white here. I'm going to load it up evenly, make sure that my paintbrush is flat. And we'll start up here. So I'm just going to add a line like this. And it's really, really simple. This will be a bigger snowflake. And a few spaces, tap, tap, tap. Make some of them longer. And you can add a few little ones that turn in like this. And you can do this with a liner brush or a round brush. I think that it's easier though to use a flat. I'm not out to make everything really even. I like those sort of looser style snowflakes.
make some of the areas outlined a little thicker. You see how pretty that looks? And I didn't measure anything out. I didn't try to make everything even on either side. That's my style though. Some of you may be like OC, more OCD and it might drive you nuts. Paint however makes you happy. This is, I paint how I just intuitively, it's intuitive for me. Like I'm not looking at pictures. I just paint what I feel at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to move on and I'll start another one here. No two snowflakes are the same. That's what's so amazing about them. Snowflakes are so beautiful, especially when the sunlight hits them and you see some iridescence. You see a little bit of a rainbow in them, different colors. Now I've got a few tutorials with snowflakes. Um, some of them have, well, one of them is painted iridescently like that without using iridescent paint. I just used a bunch of pastel colors and incorporated them over a grayscale um, painting. So you can use iridescent. There's iridescent paints, pearl paints. There's so many different options and it's really fun. So then we've got some smaller snowflakes, right? Maybe they're kind of on the side. You wanna give that feeling that there's movement in the snowflakes. They're not all facing us. That's, that would be unnatural. So you can kind of push when you want them to be a little bit thicker. They kind of remind me, well, with how I paint them, how I paint like flower petals or leaves. It's kind of similar for me. This is a really relaxing painting. I hope you guys are enjoying this one and of course, feel free to paint along. That's what this is for. I want to share all the joy that painting has brought me with as many people as I can. And you guys know the story if you've been following me for a while. I've been painting since, well, over 20, 25 years now, maybe even longer. And I started teaching in the schools and the colleges and um, then paint nights. And then ultimately I set up classroom in my home and did that for many, many years. And I realized I always loved art and painting. And I realized I'm just adding a little bit more white here, guys. Sorry. I realized through teaching um, that that was really my passion. Just adding a little bit more yellow here as well. I love sharing all of what I've learned and taught myself over the years with you guys. Come in and add another one here. These are super easy to paint. We actually got our very first snow of the season yesterday, November 8th. And we're on Vancouver Island and we don't, on our little golf island that we live on, we don't get a lot of snow. It was pretty exciting. Not like where I used to live in the, the Rockies of Canada. You get a ton of snow there. And since moving here, I gotta say, I actually miss it. I never thought I would say that, but I do. I love a white Christmas. Okay, so see how we have all these different sizes? 
and then just a few more, a few little lines and some taps. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't try too hard when you're painting these. Less is more. Just a few little things like this with a few little taps. So they're, you know, all different looking. Some are a little more transparent and some are a little uh, brighter with more paint. So more transparent, I have less paint and a little bit more water in my brush. Want to have it look like they're falling and landing and starting to collect here and settle. So I'll just make it a little messier. It's so hard, I know, when you're a beginner to be messy. We're trying so hard not to make our paintings look messy, but that's a tip for you. A little bit messy, along with stuff that takes a little bit more detail and, and time but you need a little bit of both. Now you can easily change up the size of your flat brush for bigger snowflakes. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do that make sure that you um, tap the bell when you're subscribed that way you're gonna get reminded and notified whenever I'm about to upload um, a live chat or premiere or when I upload a new video I know some of you have said that even though you're subscribed and you've tapped the bell, your reminders aren't really reminding you like they're supposed to. That sometimes happens. It's a little bit of a, a glitch. I know that happens. Um, so you might not want to always rely on that and just check back often. I've got a lot of tutorials on Patreon as well. make this one a little bit bigger. And of course, if you guys are enjoying this video, let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you. And it lets me know that you guys are watching and and I like to connect with you and I'm pretty good about uh, answering and staying in touch with my subscribers and my patrons. And thank you so much for all of your support on my channel and especially on Patreon. It's because of you guys that you're helping support the making of these videos so that I'm able to do this. But yeah, you could easily add, you could tint your white and make pastel tones and that would look very, very pretty. Like I said, I've got a tutorial on snowflakes. It's in my winter um, and Christmas playlist. 
So what I'm doing here is adding a little line, a line, a line. And then I'm gonna add some little dots right here. And I really love seeing all of your uh, versions from what you've learned through my painting tutorials on our Facebook group. You guys, you're so amazing and talented. I, uh, I want to take the time to just tell all of you that right now. We've got quite a big group. It's been growing <laughs> really, really fast in the last couple months. And uh, although I can't keep up with um, commenting on all of your posts, I see them all and I'm very, very proud of you guys and impressed. And if you'd like to join, there's a link below. Remember, we've got to have those sort of messier looking ones. That way we feel the layers and some areas that are a little blurrier. And then we'll come down here and make those messier looking ones. A few little taps for a hint of a design. So I'll paint a few more 
snowflakes here before I call this one done. I'm going to add a little circle here. And then a little cross inside and then a few little tabs. I'm just going to add a few little whimsical swirls in here. And just a few more snowflakes and then we'll call this one done. So I'll finish this off with one last spray with my toothbrush. Okay, so white and a little bit of water. And then anything that's a little bit drippy looking, which can sometimes happen if you have a little bit too much water in the toothbrush. 
I'll just dab off. Just dab a little bit off here and there. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and um, being here to support my channel. If you want to paint along, of course, feel free. You can share this with your painting groups, friends and family, whoever you like. And I'll see you guys all soon in my next video. Uh, enjoy the season. Merry Christmas. Bye.